guys, this is Jolly All Gen Gamer Christopher here, and this video is kind of going to be controversial, uh, only because I'm going to be talking about these two companies, Xbox and Sega. What do they have in common? You know, I mean, I'll just give you a quick summary. You know, Sega, I, you know, I was, I remember Sega, uh, they had, you know, the Master System, Genesis, Sega CD 32X. Game Gear, they had all these great systems. I mean, well, I'm not gonna say the 32X was great, but uh, people would be like, oh, you son of a gun. But yeah, I'm just saying that Sega had, like after the Genesis, they had momentum, you know, and they were on their way of possibly, you know, being even with Nintendo because Super Nintendo and Genesis, they were like really competing, you know, and then Sega Saturn, at least in North America, it was just like the downfall of Sega. You know, Sega alienated their base because, well, just one decision like really messed them up. Uh, well, one decision from the Sega Saturn messed them up because they were supposed to release a Saturn in like September of 1995, but then they did Saturn Day, make it Saturn Day, whatever. And then they made it May 17th, 1995. Like, they wanted to even, like, surprise even Sony. But then it backfired on them, and it alienated the base. And Sega Saturn, you know, it didn't do so well. And then it automatically was this downfall of Sega. Like, because they had alienated the base not because of the Saturn, actually. It began with, like, bad decisions on the Sega CD. And then, like, a year or two later, boom. 32X comes, and what is this? You know, why am I going to buy a 32X if the Saturn is coming out the next year? It was like one bad decision after another for Sega. And then this is where it correlates with Microsoft and Xbox. You know, they were riding high with the 360, and then boom, they made a bad decision with the Xbox One. It hurt them. And then, you know, they haven't recovered since that time with all the bad, you know, 2013 with the launch of the bad uh, Xbox One. I mean, I have an Xbox One. I just haven't gotten any other Xbox uh, consoles lately. I mean, I have a 360 as well, an original Xbox, but uh, yeah, I'm not trying to be like any sour grapes or something with um, Xbox, Microsoft. I mean, I even have like freaking some Microsoft stock, you know, but uh, but back to like the reason why I feel like these two companies, well, even though that they're saying that Xbox is going to buy Sega, that's the biggest rumor, but they're following the same path for their consoles. You mean, I don't know. No, I don't know why no one calls out uh, Microsoft. I mean, they're doing the same thing like Sega did, you know, uh, with the consoles like Xbox did Xbox One and then they did Xbox One S and they did Xbox One X. Confused consumers consumer base, just like sega 32x sega cd sega saturn you know all within like two or three years all these consoles uh you know released and then xbox one x you know i'm gonna pay like what back then uh 399 and became 299 and 399 349 whatever for the xbox one x and then less than three years later they're gonna come out now with the xbox series x wouldn't you feel kind of like what the heck i spent all this money for just like the people in the Sega days, you know, Sega Saturn, it was obsolete. Like Bernie Stolar in 1997, the Saturn is not our future. And the Saturn, you bought it for like $3.99 or it went down to $2.99. And then you're like, wow, it's this console is less than three years old and they're already going to release a Dreamcast, you know, or they, they're saying the Saturn is not our future. So I feel like these two companies are just, uh, they obsolete their consoles way too quickly. Uh, so that's what I feel like they have in common. These two companies, I mean, Microsoft, yes, has deep pockets, unlike Sega. That's why they couldn't stay in the business. That's why they would draw the Dreamcast, unfortunately, you know, back in 2001. But even if the Xbox Series X bombs, Xbox Series S, which they're not going to, they're going to continue still making consoles, you know. It does, it's not like Sony. Like, if the PlayStation 5 bomb is over for them, or PlayStation 4 didn't do well, they would have bombed for them also. So... I'm just saying that, you know, 
it, 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 because now it's going to be a series, and that's why they're saying Xbox Series. So they're going to probably release another console like year after year, just like the iPhone. But people, the public, are not alienating them. They're not like back in the day in Sega. They're like, oh my gosh, why are you doing that to Sega to me again, Sega? And now Microsoft's doing the same thing like 20 years later, and no one's calling them out. You know, like, why do you keep releasing new consoles? You know, it's, I have my money investment. I can't get at least five years out of this console and then you release another one? That's just my point here. Just saying, like, why is why is Xbox getting a free pass versus when Sega, everyone's, like, pissed off at Sega and then no one's pissed off at Microsoft as much. So that's all I'm just trying to say. That's why these two consoles, I feel, are, I mean, consoles to companies, they're, um, their plan is similar, but Microsoft is not getting any heat from like, oh, you know, it's like planned obsolescence, you know, for their consoles. It's going to be like only two, three years old and it's already outdated or even a year. It's already outdated because there's another new console. It's not like, uh, you know, like Nintendo or Sony. They give at least, well, the PS4 Pro, yes, that was the first, but PS3 it lasted a while. I mean, they're, uh, well, also 360, I'm sorry. But, uh, but you know, recently, yeah, they had the PS4, PS4, PS4 Pro, but they didn't release any, like, a third iteration. I mean, Xbox did Xbox One, the fat one. They needed Xbox One S and Xbox One X. So three. And then uh, original Xbox, yes, they just stayed on the, in the course, but... Yeah, they just I just feel like they're following the same path that Sega did again. Okay, well this we'll just go back. Okay. Sega, Sega Genesis. And then a few years later, the Sega C D add on, which is cool. But then they did a debacle up after Sega C D, like, oh geez, Sega 32X. And then less than a year later, Sega Saturn comes. Both did hor well, the Sega Saturn did horrible in North America. And Europe, but it did fine in Japan. But Japan is not going to save you with that market. Same thing. We'll just say, okay, Xbox, Xbox One X, or I'm sorry, Xbox One, uh, Xbox One, and then like what? Two years later, Xbox One S, and then a year later, Xbox One X, and then now what? Two and a half, two and a half years later, three years later, now comes Xbox Series S and Series X. And I feel like the consumer base is confused about it. You heard about the uh, pre-order. Some people, I don't know why they would make a mistake about that, but they pre-ordered Xbox One X instead of Xbox Series X. You could see it can get like confusing for a normal consumer. But yeah, all I'm just saying is that Xbox just should slow down with their console releases. It's just like Sega. It just reminds me, just like... They're like this parallel, you know, releasing too many consoles too quickly. I just, uh, this doesn't, I don't know, it just feels like it would alienate the consumer database because why would you spend $300, $400, $100 on a console and then within two years it's already obsolete and they put out a new one, you know? It just, uh, just you know, it just takes their time. Take your time. But, I mean, like most console lifespans back in the, 2000s or 90s it was like every five years which wasn't you know fine but then every two two to three years i don't know i feel like that's unacceptable but at least though your xbox one from 2013 can still play xbox uh like um xbox one games until now which is nice but it's really slow and i believe that uh, Microsoft is doing that. You can play uh, Xbox One and Xbox Series S, like the game. It would say on there. I remember I've seen the labels. Like it says compatible with Xbox One slash Xbox Series X or something like that. I'm like, wow, that's a lot of resolution in the computer. So you could see it two two sides of the coin. You know that they're looking at both. Uh, in the long run, but it's horrible. Like, I feel like, yes, it's nice they're, they're uh, giving a lot of options, but they're, like, doing two things. They're giving a lot of options, but uh, they're releasing too many consoles, just like Sega did. So that's all I'm just saying. So, uh, sorry, I was just, 
no one, I don't think a lot of people has called out Microsoft. That's all I'm just saying here. But it just feels like they're these two companies have the same kind of console strategy. I don't know, but that's my opinion. Anyway, thank you again for listening to this, even though maybe some of it didn't make any sense. I don't know. I was just trying to voice my some kind of uh, opinion or some kind of observation. Anyway, thank you again for watching, and until next time, you guys have a good one. Take care.